Hi, Julie. How are you? Hi, Lieutenant. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. So you need a ride today? I do. Thanks for the lift. You're welcome. So tell me, how, how long have you been uh, a dispatcher with the Sheriff's Office? I have been a dispatcher for nine, almost ten years. Great. Now, uh, as far as being a dispatcher, what is the, the training or the training process for you uh, when you get hired on? Training process, we go through a six-week dispatch academy, and then you get paired up with a trainer, and then you spend three months learning the phone side, the intake side, and then you're on your own for a little bit, uh, then you get paired up with another trainer, and you start your radio training. And then again, you're on your own for a little bit, and then you start the fire and EMS, the control side training. Now, do you have a particular uh area that you like phones uh, dispatcher or fire ems i like dispatch i like being on the radio okay any reason why just because it's busier or it can be a little bit busier and you just have your, your comfort levels in there not that i'm uncomfortable answering phone calls but i just feel better when i'm on the radio okay okay so in that nine ten years what was your do you remember your first call you ever took i remember my first holiday working in dispatch okay it was thanksgiving got a call a little bit before noon from a husband. There was a lot of commotion going on in the background. A okay. lot of commotion. <laughs> because his wife had gotten her hand stuck in the turkey. Okay. Uh, whatever contraption was holding the inside bits of that turkey together, when she had reached in to pull them out, the more that she would pull, the tighter it would get around her hand. Okay, so, so like it suck, kept sucking her hand in, yes. like quicksand. Had to send the fire department out there to cut a half-frozen turkey off of this poor lady's hand. I'm wondering <laughs> if they used the jaws of life for that. Hopefully her family brought another turkey. And do you have a, a, a most memorable call, something that catches, you know, you remember? I had one from last year, and I remember because it was nearing the end of my shift, it was about 4 a.m., I worked the overnights and a lady had called hysterical because she had found her husband unresponsive and unconscious, not breathing on the floor. Luckily, her daughter was also there. This certainly took a team effort. Um, she put me on speakerphone. As soon as I got the address, I was able to, to send the responders out and I uh, had to, while I was trying to keep her calm, I was coaching her daughter in the background on how to do CPR wow. on her husband and you know this girl's dad. Um, so I was able to hear when, when deputies got there and when EMS got there and when they started you know working on him, um, they responded to the hospital with him and he survived. Wow, that's awesome. Partly because of you walking through the CPR process. Yes, and it, it can be kind of challenging sometimes because you know you're you're calming down the caller to give them instructions to give to somebody else exactly right what do you think are some of the qualities to become a good dispatcher I think you have to want to help people number one okay. and communication is the major key to success here to effectively talk to somebody into CPR and giving them instructions on CPR or, or any kind of pre-arrival instructions that we give. Right. Um, controlled bleeding, you know, delivering children. Um, is it a part of the academy we have what we call emergency medical dispatch? Yes, it is. Can you explain a little bit about that? So emergency medical dispatch, it is a program that we use after we, once we know the address, we can send the screen so fire and EMS get on the way. But before they get there, we need to get some information on the patient what exactly they're going to so that they can walk in with the proper tools. They can bring the right equipment in. Um, so we need, to, we need to find out the patient's age, you know, whether they're conscious and breathing, and then what's going on. Was it reference a fall? You know, did they get struck by lightning? Is this the child delivery that we're, that we're doing? Okay. We are hiring people for our dispatch positions, correct? Yes, we are. Do you know anybody? Uh, I'm, I always try to find people. Oh, good. I do. Well, when you do, can you send them to callyoursheriff.org? I will. Because they can find out everything that they need to know there. There's the job description, there's what training looks like, and I believe there's also the application there. Thank you. Thank it was you. a pleasure. Thanks it was for great the lift. to see. It was great to see you finally meet you in person. I've heard you on the radio for so many years, and now we've actually got to meet in person. Officially. Thank you. Have Thank a great day. Thank you. I'll hear you on the radio. Yes.